Hello, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me to this event. I will be presenting the University of Al Kafil talk. My name is Nawras Al Dahan. The outline structure of my talk first, I will give you an introduction about the university, and then I will talk about the infrastructure of the communication and information technology system. The third topic will cover the renewable energy and how it successfully covered the energy demands and requirements for the university. Then I will introduce the scientific journal that are published by the university to support open knowledge access to our students and academic and everyone else. And finally, I will present you Al Siraj Learning Management System or LMS. Okay. The University of Al Kafil is one of Al Abbas Holy Shrine educational project and some of the most important objective of establishing this university are to present a leading educational model like the international university, also to initiate a qualified scientific generation and to enhance applied scientific research to support the community. The University of Al Kafil was established in 2005 and it's approved by the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research on the same year. And the university include five colleges, and they are first, the College of Law, the second, College of Technical Engineering, the third, College of Dentistry, the fourth, College of Medical and Health Technology, fifth, College of Pharmacy. As you can see here, there are some examples of the facilities and laboratories that are available at the university. As you can see, the university council, lecturing halls, and dentistry clinical. The second topic, which, I, which is about the communication and IT system. We have dedicated data center that is occupied with latest services and technology in the Middle East and offer massive storage surfaces. The optical cable technology is used to link the main center to the subrooms or hub rooms across the university campus. Actually, we own a private cloud computing system that used virtual computing technology to save energy, cost, and space, and therefore, it is a kind of environmentally friendly grain technology. We also have a security monitoring control center, as you can see here in the right-hand image, with 1,300 IP cameras installed in every zone at the university campus. The university has both internet and electronic services available to the all students and academic staff. Voice over IP technology is also used where 1,000 lines have been installed and more than 150 digital phones of the normal type and the video type as well. To support the educational process, the university used modern technologies like smart boards with a specific PC in all lecturing halls. Jamming systems are also installed to prevent any wireless communication device during exam. For online teaching, the university has Zoom education plan of more than 20 accounts with unlimited time and up to 1,000 participants per meeting. Moving on to the third topic concerning the renewable energy, I would like 
to address the main reason for using such modern technologies and its application, which is to support the university energy demands for current and future requirements to create a better and sustainable future for the university. The solar system provides 50 kilowatts of clean energy used for the data center, campus lighting, and security, security monitoring system, IP cameras. As you can see from the university logos on all the devices, the system is specially designed for the University of al kafir Here are some statistics from online monitoring system, where in five months period, the system produced 37 megawatts, saving 19 ton of cools and preventing 49 tons of CO2. The system prevented cutting down of 135 trees and reduced the university electricity bill roughly about 6 million Iraqi dinners. In the fourth topic of my talk, which is about the International Journal. Actually, the university has done excellent work in this field to provide the student and the academic staff with access to a scientific research and publication. The university signed a contract for two scientific journals with Elsevier Digital Comments. I would like to mention that both journals are approved from the Iraqi Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research, and they will be ready for submission within a few weeks. The journals are open access and are issued quarterly in one volume and four issues per year. The first journal is called Ma'in Journal for Medical Sciences and can be accessed through the university website. It accepts original articles, review articles, and the clinical case studies. The journals covers many medical fields, including pharmaceutical sciences, dental sciences, community medicine, and basic medical sciences. While the second journal is Al Bahar Journal for Engineering and Pure Sciences. It accepts only original articles and covers pure science, such as chemistry, physics, mathematics, biology, water resources, and environmental sciences. Finally, I would like to talk about al Sulaj Learning Management System, which we are very proud of. al Sulaj includes Students Information System, SIS, and e-learning system that is designed by al Kafil Center for Technology Information. And it's used by the university since academic year 2018-2019. al Suraj LMS follows all the requirements and regulations set by the Iraqi Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research. In this system, every student, academic staff, and administrator have user account with different privileges and access rights. The most important aspect of Al Suraj LMS is that it covers all aspects related to the educational process. It's over an online examination platform. It supports uploading all lecturing material, including video and document like PDF, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, etc. It provides easy access to a mobile, personal computer, iPad, and 
supported multiple operation system like iOS and Android. It follow both students and academics to send and receive notification and emails. These pictures show you the registration process of a new student as a new enrolled student information is registered by the registration department. In this slide, we can see the instructor page where they can upload lecture, create exams, record the absentees, or communicate with their student via email. Here, as you can see, multiple pages taking from the mobile application. As shown, the student can view and download the lecturers. They can see also their timetables and read the university news and many more. This page shows all the exam and the quizzes taken by the student where he or she can see their results. Here is part where the student can email and communicate with their instructor and send report or upload document. This slide shows the administration page where ad, uh, administrator can register instructor and assign them to college and link them to the course they, they teach, sorry. Admins can monitor all the activities in order to make sure that all the process are secure and accurate. Here are some statistics from the al Suraj system for the previous academic year, 2020-2021. As you can see, there are more than 5,000 enrolled system and more than 22,000 of uploaded lecturers. The academic staff perform more than 6,000 exams using the LMS system. These lecturer mate materials is taking almost 500 gigabyte of size in our services. After completing the programming and design the al Suraj system, the university submitted a full report to the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research. The ministerial team checked all the operation of the al Suraj system and they found it meet all the educational requirements. So the Iraqi Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research sent an official letter to the university to request a copy of this system in order to apply it in all the universities in Iraq. Thank you for listening. Shukran jazeelan, Dr. Amr, ala hadhihi al-idafa wal istidafa. Atamanna min al-bari azza wa jal an yuwafiqakum. Shukri wa taqdiri li jami' al-hadirin. Shukri wa taqdiri li a'adha' الفريق الوزاري شكري وتقديري لكم لإتاحة هذه الفرصة مرة أخرى شكرا جزيلا شكرا جزيلا أستاذ الدكتور نورس الدهران من غنيمة حضرتك على هذا التقديم الرائع نسأل الله التوفيق لكم ولجامعتكم الموقرة حقيقة جامعة الكثير جامعة من الجامعات الواعدة التي تنطلق بالوضع وبسرعة كبيرة جدا في مجال التطور والبحث العلمي حتى ما تتضاهي الجامعات الحكومية لا تتفوق على الكثير من الجامعات الحكومية خصوصا في موضوع تكنولوجيا المعلومات الجامعة الوحيدة التي تمتلك بناء تحتية متكاملة تمتلك حاسبات فائقة القدرة تمتلك حاسبات من النوع المتطور تمتلك شبكة تحت الأرض هذه كلها يعني ثمارها تجمعنا جامعة الكبير بالإضافة إلى موضوع مهم جدا هو موضوع الطاقة المتجددة حقيقة زرنا جامعة الكبير ولأكثر من مرة بموضوع الطاقة المتجددة وطلعنا على تجاربهم 
شكرا جزيلا دكتور